Okay, morning everyone. Maybe give me a wave if you can hear me. Morning, Jim. Great. Good job. So a little bit of a uh, something happened with the link, but I'm glad to see people persevered. My name's Jim. Hosting you this morning for uh, three ten minutes. I hope you've all been uh, warming up. Just a reminder, we'll get going at 8.15 in about five minutes. I normally like to warm up with uh, two sets of 30 stroke bursts. First one, I do 15 strokes at 18, immediately followed by 15 strokes at 20. The second one, I'll do 22 and 24. So I've already done my first one. I'm gonna do my second one shortly. Obviously listen to your body, whatever works for you, but I recommend doing something just to get your, your body and your brain warmed up a little bit. When we're doing these pieces, ideally about 85, 90% of maximum heart rate. So your anaerobic threshold, it's good to get your body used to that ahead of time. So there we go. My second warm up first. I think about length, smooth power. Second fifteen. Ten more. That's three. Have it for another 30 seconds and then uh, have a pause. So, the clocks, I'll run you through the ratings. So, just a reminder, got quite a few people returning. So, for anyone who's forgotten or would like a refresher, it's three 10 minutes, and the target for these is to go off fairly hard and try and get to your target pace pretty much straight away, even at the lower rates, which means you have to work with quite a lot of power and length. And the idea being that you do most of the work in the first couple, couple of, of segments. And then as the rating comes up, you just find it a little bit easier to maintain that split. So, just going to show you the, the rates here, and then we'll give you a chance to set up your clocks. So here's my prepared earlier card. Four minutes, three minutes, two minute, one minute, with a five minute break in between. First set, starting off at 18, 20, 22, 24. Next one, 20, 22, 24, 26. And last one, 22, 24, 26, 28. And as I said, we try and do the work in the, in the four minutes and the three minutes. So if your target split is 2.30, try and hit that 
straight away. It's not a sprint at the end. In the last two change ups, you should be already have, feel like you've done most of the work and you're just moving quicker. And from a technical focus, I'm going to be focused on two things, which is keeping the hands moving and also uh, making sure I'm thinking about length with my body, both forward and then opening up the angle on the way back. Okay, so let's set up the clocks. Hopefully you've got a bit of water, something to drink. You've got whatever ventilation you need. It's quite cold here in Dorset, but uh, hopefully you're wherever you are. Okay, so we're gonna do a select workout, new workout, intervals, intervals time, we set time to be 10 minutes. Set rest time, five minutes. You can set the pace boat up if you like. I will probably do that. And then let's have a look and see who's ready. I think everyone looks pretty ready. Okay, so we'll go in about 10 seconds. I'm just gonna hit my tick. So I'm ready to go. Okay, let's grab the handles. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Off we go. Race 18. First few strokes. Get the wheel moving. You start to stretch out. I'm really thinking this morning about stretching my body weight over before I let the knees come up. I notice, just watching back the video, that I wasn't really getting my body weight over as much as I needed to. I'm not very tall, so I need all the body angle I can get. So two things I use to help me get that length forward. Firstly, I try and feel the weight to the seat before I let my knees come up. And secondly, I try and make sure my hands are over my ankles before I start sliding. Those two little cues for me really help me think about maximum angle forward. And if I get that angle forward, I've got more angle to open up against in the second half of the drive. That's two minutes already. We're thinking about length and power. Accelerate. Stretching over, hands always moving, both ends of the stroke, even at this low rating. We think about acceleration. You've heard me talk about sending the puddles. Anyone who's rode will know what I mean. Even if you haven't rode, hopefully you can imagine that feeling towards the finish. We're really trying to push 
the puddles away. Push the boat away from the puddle. Send. We're releasing the boat. Okay, I'm on 18 there. Just thinking about the first change up. We're going to move up to, to 20. Here we go. Change up. Up to. There it is. We get that change by just moving a little bit quicker. Sitting up. And now I'm on that rate. When I think about stretching, weight on the front edge of the seat, hands going over the ankles before I think about sliding forward. Just focusing on length like that. Just give me an extra split. So I'm maximizing the angle, the levers that I have. Five minutes gone, into the third quarter already. Well done everyone. You're well into it now. More than halfway through this three minute segment. So it's really consolidate. It's where we do the work. Push with the feet. Press. Press with the feet. Once you've got the flywheel moving, we already think about opening up the angle against those legs. It's good. On that rhythm, another 30 seconds before we change. Long, powerful, sending the boat. Okay, thinking about moving up to the 22. Here we go. Change up. Just a little bit quicker. There it is, 22. New cadence. Same strong rhythm. Sitting up and then stretching. Or in the fourth quarter. One more minute at 22. We we'll let the handbrake off for the final minute.
stretch, stretch out, body weight, over, front edge of the seat, hands over the ankles, before the knees come up. And then use that body angle to open up against the feet and the legs and the dry. Second half. Okay. Final change up. Go ready. Up to change. 24. There it is. 24. Everything a little bit quicker. Last 30 seconds. Last 10 strokes. Still thinking about stretching. Good rowing. All the way in. Last two strokes. And down. Hold on, everyone. That set us up well. I don't know about you. I got into a really nice long rhythm there. When I'm doing those calls, I'm pretty much just verbalizing what I'm thinking about for myself. But what I found is for most people, those are the right things to be thinking about most of the time. Most of us need to think about stretching over, really using our natural length. Most people benefit from thinking about pushing with the feet, then opening up the angle in the second half. Well done. It's good to keep paddling. I normally paddle through to about two and a half minutes gone. And then uh, put the handle down, have a quick drink. You do whatever's right for you. Let's get the breath back. Let the heart rate come down. In terms of training effect, I mentioned before, this is a, a threshold session. So just at the point where your body really starts to produce a lot of lactic acid, you should be on or around that point which as I said, is typically for most people, about 85, 90% of their maximum heart rate. So you shouldn't be producing a huge amount of lactic acid, but you will start to feel it a little bit. And this five minutes in between is an opportunity to actually clear some of that out, which is why I always think it's better to move even quite lightly, rather than just sit still. If you sit still, it probably certainly doesn't make it any better and arguably makes it feel a bit worse. So I always like to just keep moving, take the chance to flush out a little bit. So I'm gonna take a drink now. Well done, everyone. Good first one. Gonna stretch it off very quickly. <coughs> Not sure what stretching everyone does for themselves ahead of time, but I always stretch hamstrings, my glutes, hip flexors, all the sort of piriformis muscles underneath, because I find that that becomes the restriction 
to get in the length that I want. And if I don't stretch those out, I try and do, make the stretch too much with my back, with my spine, and start loading up my spine when it's not in a good position. That can cause a bit of soreness. So I'm pretty uh, diligent stretching my hamstrings and all around the top half of my legs just to try and make sure that I can get my, my pelvis over on the recovery, be in a strong and safe position to apply pressure. Okay, a bit less than a minute to go. Hopefully you got your breath back. Your choice if you want to do a, a rolling start or a standing start. I will do a rolling start. Remember this one, we're going off at 20 for the first four minutes, then 22, 24, 26. And once again, we really try and do the work in the four and the three. Let's commit to that. Okay, about five strokes to go. In three, in two, in one, here we go. Off at 20. Get the flywheel moving. Start to stretch out onto the rear. And down to 20. There we go. There it is. 20. And on this, once again, I'm trying to rethink. Stretching over. Long back. Body weight onto the front edge of the seat. Hands over the ankles before I let the knees come up. And that gives me a really good angle forward. So when I'm driving, I can open up that angle. Accelerate the handle. In the second half, if I'm pushing with my feet, as I'm doing that, I'm really sending the puddles. So I'm getting into that sending rhythm. That's good. Two minutes gone already. Sending the boat. Well done. Good rhythm. It's where we do the work. Let's commit to it now. Second quarter. Hold on, everyone. Sending the puddles. One more minute at 20. Let's press the foot, press the feet into the foot plate.
good rhythm. Strong, long, powerful strokes. Sending the boat. Okay, we think about our first change, up to 22. We we'll move a little bit quicker, staying long rhythm. Here we go. Change up, up to 22. There it is. High cadence, staying long, strong rhythm. Let's commit to this now, where we do the work. Long strokes, powerful strokes. Sending. Let's give me an extra split. And I'm gonna think about stretching over again. Here we go. Stretching over. Maximum angle for the body. So you can accelerate in the second half. Halfway through the second segment, let's commit. We're on 22. Hold on, everyone. So we do the work. Good piece. We're into the last minute, twenty two. The hands moving, sitting up tall, posture, length, and power, acceleration, sending the puddles. Okay, you want to think about. Moving up to the 24, just moving quicker. Here we go. Change up, up to, and that's 24. Well done. New tempo. Then long rhythm. Hold well on, everyone. Final quarter now. Staying on twenty four. Good length. Power, acceleration. One more minute on 24. We've done the work. Long, 
Tá? Funciona. Ten more. So we'll find the change. Let's finish strong. Good piece. Let's finish it well. Coming up to the final change. Up to 26. Here we go. Go duck. Sitting up, moving the hands. Last 20 strokes. Late and power. Last 10 strokes. Last four. And down. Uh, well done. Well done, everyone. Good piece. We talk about staying committed. <clears throat> it's easy to think in that first four minutes, it's a long way to go. You know, I want to say something for the end. Well, the way this training session is set up, you don't you don't save it. You deliver everything you can in the four minutes and the three minutes. And if anything, the two and the one just spinning. I talk about letting the handbrake off. So you really maximize the distance covered in those first seven minutes and those last two and one. Just moving quicker and keep the flywheel sapping along. It's not a sprint. So a good honest session, really good for your conditioning and uh, sets you up as part of your winter, winter base. For those of you wanting to race in the spring and the summer, this is the kind of thing that really helps you with your conditioning and also gets your body used to being able to generate good power and length at lower ratings. So when the rating comes up, that translates into good boat speed. And you've got something, something a good base to work from. It's amazing how tiring it can be just rowing at 20 or 22. If you really think about length and power. Okay, I'm gonna travel through to two and a half minutes. Thanks for doing this with me. Hopefully you get a little bit of encouragement from seeing people on screen, going through the same things you are. Hopefully my calls are useful. Okay, it's 2.30, I'm just gonna have a drink. <coughs> okay, so this next piece, last one. The only piece that counts, <coughs> as Johnny would say. So just to remind you, it's 22, 24, 26, 28. The 22 will feel quite, quite easy and, and steady because we just finished at 26. So your body is used to moving at a much higher tempo. So once again, we really put the money in the bank in the four minute and the three minute. And then those last two changes will just take care of themselves. Once again, from a technical point of view, now that I'm tired, 
when I'm most likely to get into bad habits. So I'm really trying to coach myself in this uh, paddling to really exaggerate the body angle forward, the stretch, getting the body weight onto the front edge of the seat. And when I've done that, try and maintain good posture. Keep my feet pressed against the stretcher. And then when I start the drive, it's all legs. And then I start to really open up the angle with the back in the second half. When you're in the piece, you can really use that acceleration with the body, then create momentum to get over onto the next stroke. So it almost is like a pendulum swinging back, then over. Okay, 20 seconds. Last one. We're going off at 22. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, get ready in three, in two, in one. Here we go, off at 22. Got the flywheel moving. Good power. Starting to stretch. There it is. 22. Good tempo there. Thinking about that. Stretch over. Keeping the hands moving. There we go. One minute hit it, gone. Let's get onto a good tempo, good rhythm. This is where we do the work. Sending, sending the boat. Gonna commit, commit to this. Long and strong. Stretching over. That's good. Well done, everyone. Long, powerful stretch. Through the first quarter, already committing. Long. Powerful stretch. Use the legs. Then accelerate with the back. Sending. Send the finish. Good. Committed. 
Good rhythm. Long stretch. Something to think. Got the first change. Up two to 24. Just gonna move a little bit quicker. Same rhythm. Get ready. Up two. Change up. A little bit quicker. There it is. 24. I'll commit to this now. New tempo. Same rhythm. Long and strong. Sending. Sending with the back. Open up the angle. Third quarter now. Committing. Good stuff. That's the way we do the work. We're not holding back. Squeezing, keep accelerating. Last minute before we change. Maximum distance, first stroke. Stretching, squeezing. Starting to think that it's an exchange up. Going up to 26, just moving quicker, same rhythm. Here we go, up to, change up, there it is. On 26. We've done the hard work. Finish strong. Last quarter. One stroke at a time. One more minute at 26. Fifteen more strokes for the final change.
Long and strong. Keep accelerating. Feet. Then back. Coming up. The final change. Up two to 28. Here we go. Change up. There it is. 28. Let's empty the tanks. We've done the work. We'll finish strong. Fifteen strokes. Ten strokes. All you got. When it's strong, to the line. Pass two. And then, uh, Hold on, everyone. Good piece. Good set of pieces. I don't know about you, I was definitely hurting those last couple of changes. And that's good. It means I've done the work in the first couple of blocks. <coughs> it's the way it should be. Get the heart rate up. Really think about maximum power per stroke, maximum distance per stroke. Really learning to get the maximum out of your body at that rating. Just means you can generate more when the rate comes up. And if you're just doing this to stay fit, a little bit of company on a Sunday morning, then thank you for joining. Thanks for making it easier for me and others. And I hope that worked. Hope that worked well. I hope, hope it uh, broke down the exercise a little bit. Made it go faster. I'm going to paddle through probably the whole five minutes, but feel free to come off mute or stick something in the chat. Tell us how it was for you. Any of the calls you don't like or do like, anything we should change? Definitely all ears. I won't be on there uh, next Sunday because I'm racing at the Remenham Challenge on the Tideway, which will be very cold, I'm sure. Absolutely freezing in London today. <laughs> and, uh, Once again, in this paddle, I'm just really trying to remind myself about stretching out with the body. Even when I'm really tired, that's the best time to do it. Um. Just while we're paddling down, Jim, just to let everyone know, if you haven't seen it, we've launched on Zoom Ergos a ladder, which is in beta. And I would really love everybody's help in testing it. because It's much easier than me setting up lots of dummy accounts to test it myself. So if people would sign up to it, get themselves on the ladder, and as of tomorrow, be able to challenge people Basically, if you challenge somebody who's within 10 places of you, you can arrange a race over any distance or time that you agree. And then 
if you both submit the same result to the ladder, the ladder will update. So the winner goes above the loser. So if people are prepared to sign up and test it and feedback, that would be absolutely great. And hopefully people will have a bit of fun with it. And if you have any friends who erg, whether they erg on Zoom ergs or not, just tell them to get on the Zoom ergo ladder for a bit of fun competition. I think it's a great idea. Good for a bit of winter motivation, bit of Christmas motivation, keep the turkey at bay. I'm going to do about five more strokes and then uh, put my handle down for the final time. There we go. Thanks, Thanks everyone for, for joining in. Yeah. Thanks, Jim.